graceful. I'm on a plate. Is that a good look for me? Bree here, and I don't know about you, but I've really been wanting to do a Halloween photo shoot. So I found um, some hacks from Trim Trim for some hopefully beautiful Halloween photo ideas. Lie down on it. Stretch out your legs and cover the leg of the stool with the bottom of your dress. It's like the blue-eyed girl is hovering in the air. The Grim Reaper That's a cool came effect. to take her soul. Okay, I have a bar stool. I don't know because I have more stool legs. <laughs> so graceful. Oh, I wish it would. How did she get her dress to fall so perfectly? I mean, even with um, my stool being bulkier, I still don't see how my dress could fall. She must have just had a much flowier dress. But this is like the only long dress I have. This really is a workout though. You can so tell that I'm on a stool. I don't think I can make it work. I wish I could. Okay, on to the next one. Oh my goodness, it's moving. How's this a photo? Let's see. <laughs> Very funny. Draw a circle the size of a head on a sheet of cardboard. Okay. It sucks. Cut it out. Color the cardboard with black acrylic paint. Paint white veins. Make it look like marble. Yes, because someone's really going to buy the white cardboard. Attach a foam paper marble. along the outside of the cut. Make it look like a plate. Cover it with a lid. I don't have My a lid friend's like that, head but has I'll make it calories. work. It turns out that this is a great photo shoot opportunity. Let's take some pics. So I'm going to be doing this on a piece of poster board because it's white. It kind of already looks like a countertop. I'm not going to have to paint anything. Okay, so um, here is going to be my little countertop. I'll just zoom in so you don't catch the outside. And I also am actually going to be putting on a paper plate. So I'm going to start by using this as my measuring tool. Oh no, I'm not going to fit. I'm going to just slice off a bit more then. I'm on a plate. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut out this hole in here. Okay, so I have the plate that fits perfectly over this hole here. Now just spook it up a bit. Please don't make this fall. Please don't make this fall. Oh, I'm so scared that I'm gonna knock this all off. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. My um, counter is definitely starting to sag a bit here. There we go. I think we pulled that one off. <laughs> All right, hopefully the next one will be a little easier. But having a photo shoot with spiders is more interesting. Okay. Attach rubber spiders to your leg using double-sided tape and ask your friend to take a photo I mean, that from is underneath. Easy. Ew! I'm being attacked by spiders! But the photos turned out very realistic. This tape sucks. Really bad. Like, they're not even really sticking to it. <laughs> Alright, next. Cat eyes are an unusual photo filter. Ooh. Should we try it? Cute. Cover a hula hoop with black acrylic paint. Cut ping pong balls in half and paint them. I actually have eyeball ping pong balls that will work perfect for this. For the hoop with a fake spider web and glue on the eyes. That looked really cool. So I have this hula hoop. I'm not going to paint it. So it's just going to be a really weird accent color. <laughs> 
that was pretty easy. Okay, so now we just need to hot glue some eyeballs to it. This is coming together. Oh, I like this one a lot. I think this is my favorite. But I think we have one more. We need mice. We should put them in the web. No, let's put them on our friend's head. Cover rubber mice with silver acrylic paint and hot glue them onto the I'm not painting Okay, hot glue to a bobby pin. Mouse bobby pins? Very unique. Now let's take a mouse selfie. I'm not doing that many, but I'll do Say one. Cheese. We'll see how this works. Okay, so I see the same problem that I had with the spiders in that it is hollow on the inside. So I'm gonna try um, the tail is solid though. So um, let's see if that will work. Okay, so. It is attached to the bobby pin, and once it is dry, because I don't want hot glue in my hair, I will try it out. Is that a good look for me? I feel like I need to look like a crazy person, because who else would have a mouse in their hair, right? So what do you think of these hacks? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Also, um, let me know what other kind of photo hacks you'd like me to try out for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like. And uh, if you want to keep watching, there should be another video popping up right here. <laughs> if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the ineffable community because you are ineffable.